Hey guys, stay tuned to the end of this video to see how to win this OnePlus Buds Z. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamus Tang and today we're doing a camera comparison test between three flagship phones here in 2021. And of course, I'm talking about the OnePlus 9 Pro, the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. So what we're going to do is just put the photos and videos side by side with each other, try to nitpick as much as you can and try to see any of the weaknesses between three of these phones. And trust me when I say it's really, really hard to do that because three of these phone cameras do give you very, very good and excellent shots and it's really hard but of course today when we put them side by side we get to see some differences here and there and that is what we are going to do and these are just my opinions and my thoughts do leave yours in the comments down below as we are going to do this test so without further ado let's just get right into it Alright, so we're going to start off with some outdoor shots over here and you're going to notice that I'm going to repeat a lot of words. I'm going to repeat about dynamic range, colour, sharpness, contrast and all these other things because three of these phones, like I mentioned, do give you very, very excellent shots. What I'm going to say is I'm going to give you my opinion on which I think does look better and which I actually think does have a more detailed look in terms of the colour and all these other stuff. So in this photo here, I got to say all three of them do give you excellent shots. But what I got to feel is about the Mi 11 Ultra does give you a sharper image, especially if you can see it on the tree in the center over here. But if you're talking about the dynamic range and brightness, I think the OnePlus 9 Pro and S21 Ultra does better over here. In terms of the color, I actually prefer it on the OnePlus 9 Pro. In terms of the balance, I really like it over here compared to the other two phones. So in this next shot here, we're going to look at more of the color temperature on three of these phones. On the OnePlus 9 Pro, it does have more of a warmer look and it does look a bit more dull. On the S21 Ultra, it does have more of a colder look, similar to the Mi 11 Ultra, I would say. In terms of details, I think all three of them are really good. But in terms of dynamic range, again, I think the OnePlus 9 Pro and S21 Ultra actually does better than the Mi 11 Ultra. You can see it at the back over here in the center of the image. If you go into the plants over there, I feel that the shadows is handled better, especially on the OnePlus 9 Pro. In this next shot over here, you can see more of the color temperature again. And on the Mi 11 Ultra, it does have the most contrasty image compared to the other two phones. It looks very pink on the plants over here. And I gotta say, it does look very fake and not very natural. In terms of the natural color, I gotta say it's between the S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Going on to this shot over here, Again, in terms of dynamic range, I think the OnePlus 9 Pro and S21 Ultra does a very, very excellent job. So those shots were taken with the auto mode on and in these next few shots, I did enable the pro mode so that I can see the Hasselblad color thingy on the OnePlus 9 Pro to see if it's actually a gimmick or if it's a real thing. And what I noticed over here in terms of the dynamic range is that the OnePlus 9 Pro does very well, better compared to the S21 Ultra and a little bit better compared to the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. But if you look at the behind of the image, the building over there and the sky, definitely the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra does the best compared to the other two phones. You can actually see the sky details and the sharpness on the building behind is very well preserved compared to the other two phones. In this next shot over here, you can see that the S21 Ultra again does give you a more of a warmer and dull look. The OnePlus 9 Pro does much better over here. Details and dynamic range is handled really well. But I gotta say again, in terms of the overall details, in terms of dynamic range, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra actually does best over here. It does give you the sharpest image, I gotta say, and the color, I do like it on the Mi 11 Ultra. So next up are some macro shots because I love me some macro shots. And what I gotta say is all three of them are really good and they do have their own macro mode. On the OnePlus 9 Pro, they are following what they did with the 8 Pro last year by using the ultra wide lens as a sort of a dual lens because they have a dual focus so they can use it as a macro shooter as well. They did pick it up with the S21 Ultra over here which is really good. So you can see in terms of both of these two images, the details and the overall sharpness, you can go really close to an object over here and you can get a lot of details. On the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, it does look very weird in terms of the color over here. It's not as sharp compared to the other two phones. In this next shot, again, you can see that in terms of details, sharpness, this S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 9 Pro does give you the more pleasing and better shot with the Mi 11 Ultra struggling over here. So next up, let's go on to some selfies and yes, please do bear with me. And yes, I do understand that with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, you can use actually the second rear display as your selfie shooter as well. But I didn't really use it for this kind of shots because it was really hard to see a small screen 
screen over here. If you're stretching out your hand, it's really hard to see. So I just use the front selfie camera. In terms of the overall quality, I gotta say the S21 Ultra does the best over here. If you go on to some close-up images over here, you can see in terms of the details and sharpness that the S21 Ultra and the Mi 11 Ultra does better. On the OnePlus 9 Pro, it kind of over smoothens my face quite a bit and it does it consistently. Although I did disable all the settings and all the filters on all three of these phones. When it comes to a bright background, it wasn't even really that bright in the shot. But for some reason, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra when it comes to the dynamic range is really, really off on the back over here. Even in the previous test, I did it with the S21 Ultra. It did give me similar results. Over here, I gotta say in terms of the overall quality, I do prefer it on the S21 Ultra with the OnePlus 9 Pro behind. In terms of the more darker images, again, I gotta say the OnePlus 9 Pro over here does really well. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra does give me more details on my face mask over here. In this shot, I gotta say all three of them are pretty much equal. But if we go on to the next shot here, which is pretty interesting, you can see that the OnePlus 9 Pro does look very soft compared to the other two phones. The Mi 11 Ultra and the S21 Ultra does give you very good details. And I gotta say sometimes the Mi 11 Ultra, when I look at it, does give me more details compared to the other two phones. So now let's check out some beautiful portrait shots over here. And I gotta say that the Mi 11 Ultra does give you the sharper and more detailed look. In terms of the dynamic range, I actually do prefer it on the S21 Ultra. And on the OnePlus 9 Pro, it does give you the worst image of the bunch. It's not able to detect people wearing face masks, which is a bit weird because all of us have been wearing face masks for the past one year. And yes, it does look overblown now and it's very smoothened compared to the other two phones. Going on to this next image over here, all three of them do a much better job. In terms of the quality image and in terms of the sharpness, again, I do prefer it on the Mi 11 Ultra. When it comes to the subject separation, I actually do prefer it on the OnePlus 9 Pro and the S21 Ultra. Going on to another beautiful shot over here, in terms of the color and details, all three of them are really good. But if you crop in into this image, you can notice that the subject separation is better on the Mi 11 Ultra, as you can see here on the hair on the top over here, compared to the other two phones. Going on to the next shot over here all three of them are really really good but for some reason the oneplus 9 pro does crush the black on the shirt over here and the skin tone is really off compared to the other two phones in terms of the color in terms of subject separation as you can see in this next shot over here the mi 11 ultra and the s21 ultra does a much better job compared to the oneplus 9 pro so now we're going on to some ultra wide shots on all three of these phones and just a quick recap over here the 9 pro does have the biggest lens at 50 megapixel followed by the mi 11 ultra at 48 megapixel and third is the the S21 Ultra at 12 megapixel. Moving on from the main lens towards the ultra wide, the Mi 11 Ultra does have the wider field of view, followed by the S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 9 Pro. When it comes to distortion, yes, the 9 Pro does have the least distortion compared to the other two phones. But then again, it's maybe because it does have the narrowest field of view compared to the other two phones. In terms of sharpness, details, and dynamic range, all three of them are really, really good. Even if you crop in into the shots, you're going to notice there's not much difference to separate all three of these phones. Let's go on to the next image over here. And you're gonna notice again, there's not much difference when it comes to the ultra wide shots taken on all three of these phones. So now we're gonna talk about the telephoto lenses on all three of these phones. And over here, I think the S21 Ultra wins it because it does give you two very useful telephoto lenses. One at three times optical zoom and one at 10 times compared to the 9 Pro at 3.3 times and the Mi 11 Ultra at five times zoom. So in this series of shots over here, I gotta say quality of shots are taken are really good. A lot of details and a lot of sharpness as well. The Mi 11 Ultra, I feel, does give you a sharper look compared to the other two phones. But then again, with their versatility with the S1 Ultra, I can go up to 10 times. And as you can see here, details are still really good. In this next shot so over here, again, you're gonna notice very similar pattern. All three of them are really good. But again, at 10 times, for some reason, for the S1 Ultra, it's a bit orange here. Maybe my finger was in the way. And three times again, these shots I'm gonna show you are just really, really excellent. But I do like the versatility on the S1 Ultra. I think the three times at 10 times of zoom is very useful because I think a lot of people will be using it at this focal length. It's either you are too near to object or maybe just further, you just wanna use that three times zoom, which is really helpful on the 9 Pro and S1 Ultra. The five times zoom is a bit because you have to move back quite a bit to get that five times of zoom. And over here, if you just wanna zoom a lot, I think the 10 times would help a lot. 
on the S21 Ultra. And yes, in these last few shots, you're gonna notice that these phones are just flexing. Over on the Mi 11 Ultra, I can go up to 120 times, the S21 Ultra at 100 times, and on the 9 Pro at 30 times. But to be honest, as you can see here, quality is just so bad and it's very, very useless. It's very grainy, details are just very lost, and I don't, pe I don't think people will actually use this. Maybe if you want just to stalk your girlfriend or stalk your boyfriend, whatever you want to do, you can just use this lens, but you're not gonna see much, you know? Maybe you want to see who they're texting, but to be honest, you're not gonna find anything with this maximum zoom over here. So now we're gonna check out some videos taken with the rear cameras, and to be honest, I am actually pretty disappointed with the S21 Ultra. It used to have the better rear camera, but for some reason here, the 9 Pro and the Mi 11 Ultra does a much better job when it comes to dynamic range, sharpness, and color. Over on the S21 Ultra, it does look a bit more shaky compared to the other two phones. But if we move on to the selfie video over here, I gotta say that the S21 Ultra does a much, much better job. It's more stable, more detailed compared to the other two phones. The 9 Pro also does a much better job, but on the Mi 11 Ultra, it's just very bad as we are taking selfie shots. Going on to night video, I gotta say all three of them are pretty much very similar, but they do, again, with that Android kind of thing, they do have their micro jitter on all three of these flagship phones, which is something I think they should be fixing in future updates. So now let's check out some night photography over here and to be honest, all three of them have improved massively over the past one to two years. In terms of the computer software, in terms of the camera software side of things, I think three of them have done a remarkable job. Yes, with the OnePlus 9 Pro, it does give you the fastest timer compared to the other two phones and I think it does affect a little bit if you compare it to the other two phones. It does give you the softer image compared to the other two phones. In terms of the clarity, in terms of the sharpness, in terms of just the details, I think the S1 Ultra and the Mi 11 Ultra does a better job. In this image over here, as we crop in, I think the dynamic range and details is better preserved on the Mi 11 Ultra and the S21 Ultra compared to the 9 Pro. In this next series of shots, I am using the Pro mode because I just want to see the color calibration on the OnePlus 9 Pro. To be honest, in terms of the natural look to it, the S21 Ultra actually does give you the closest looking compared to the other two phones. The Mi 11 Ultra would look better because it is brighter, but I feel it does lose more details compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro, which actually does a much better job compared to the other two phones. In terms of just clarity, in terms of sharpness, I think the 9 Pro does a really good job. But in terms of the natural feel to it, I think the S1 Ultra does win it over here. To be honest, when you're using the Pro mode or the Night mode on all three of these phones, there is really nothing much to separate them. Yes, you do get a bit of a hit and miss on all three of these phones. In terms of the consistency, I gotta say the Mi 11 Ultra and S20 Ultra does a little bit better compared to the OnePlus 9 Pro. And yes, I'm gonna end this test with some nighttime selfies up here. And again, gotta say the S20 Ultra does a much better job. Followed by the OnePlus 9 Pro and the Mi 11 Ultra is following with the daytime shots where the Mi 11 Ultra does struggle over here. And then again, yes, you can use the second rear display as your selfie shooter. So yes, that is it. This is the camera comparison test between the Sony Mi 11 Ultra, S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Of course, these are just my thoughts and my opinion on what I feel when I just saw these images. Of course, do leave yours in the comments down below as well. And of course, if I did miss anything out, do leave it in the comments down below and of course, be nice in the comments down below. So if you did find this video helpful and of course, if you did enjoy this, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below. It will help a lot with this channel. Of course, also do follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hammerstein. So that is it. This is Dr. Hammerstein. Stay safe, take care and wash those hands. So thank you for staying all the way to the end of this video and yes, I'm doing my first ever giveaway here on this channel and I'm giving away this OnePlus Bud C. This thing is only open to anyone here living in Malaysia. So what you need to do is very simple click the like and subscribe button down below also do follow me on my facebook and instagram at dr hamas tank and lastly leave a comment down below on which is your favorite phone brand i'll leave all the other terms and conditions in the description down below so i'll catch you guys in the next one